coming up on this edition of DNPS TV News. A Discovery Channel Storm Chaser visits North High School. The Des Moines Public School Aviation Engineering Technology Program reaches new heights with the addition of a Learjet. And learn how 4,500 preschool students in the district can say they have participated in a world record attempt. Stay tuned to see what the mayor of Des Moines did to help. Hi and welcome to DNPS TV News. I'm your host, Aaron Hosman. In participation with the Des Moines Public Schools, Discovery Education hosted Reed Timmer, a meteorologist and extreme weather enthusiast from Discovery Channel's Storm Chasers. Timmer shared his inspirational personal story and numerous tales of his encounters with extreme weather with students, teachers, and parents at North High School. Representing Discovery Education uh, to talk to the kids about uh, the STEM, which, it, which is science, technology, engineering, and math and how it applies to storm chasing, and not just the meteorology side, but also the production side. Uh, our camera guys use all kinds of science and technology, and also just to show that uh, if you, you know, follow intense curiosity and passion, then the sky's the limit. North High School students are ready to make new discoveries with their very own school-assigned laptops. With 80% of North High School students qualifying for free and reduced lunch, Principal Matt Smith believes the laptops will provide the students with 21st century skills and learning opportunities they may not have exposure to otherwise. One of the key aspects of this laptop initiative is to level the playing field of our kids and allow them uh, that access to technology where they otherwise may not have it. Um, and so uh, it's just, it's become part of our identity, part of our culture here uh, to provide the students with everything that we think they should have in order to be successful in today's 21st century world. We visited North High School as students and parents went through the computer orientation and training process that is required to receive a laptop from the school. The students, when they arrive, they go through a series of six stations, the first five having to do with the laptop and um, make sure all the right paperwork is signed and then they'll go through a station where they talk about the procedures of taking care of their mat uh, and, and how, you know, how it's going to affect them here at the school day and then um, they'll actually receive the MacBook and go through some more instructions uh, and then uh, they'll get an email address and uh, we'll talk a little bit about you know, the use of the Mac and of course the, the proper uh, care for it. The laptop is another tool to get us a little bit higher, uh, to engage the kids a little bit more and to bring us to that next level. But the, the true successes that are going on the building go on on a daily basis when the teachers are interacting with the students and the students are here. The Aviation and Engineering Technology Program held an unveiling ceremony for their recently acquired fully functional Learjet 35. The unveiling was held at the program's lab at the Des Moines Airport and was attended by students, parents, instructors, and the guest of honor, Senator Chuck Grassley. Grassley played a pivotal role in helping the program acquire the aircraft. The federal government has a lot of surplus property. You know, and it shouldn't be a no-brainer that the sooner you get it out, somebody's making good use of it, the better the country's going to be, the people that receive it, as well as the government that previously owned it. The jet was a surplus aircraft from Keesler Air Force Base in Mississippi and was acquired at the cost of only $4,000. This is a fully operational aircraft. It has modern engines. It has modern technology. Its avionics are upgraded and it's been very, very well maintained. So the Des Moines Public Schools has gained a piece of equipment that easily has a value of three to four million dollars and we have paid four thousand dollars for it. The Aviation Engineering Technology Program is one of only three high school programs in the nation certified by the Federal Aviation Administration to teach aircraft maintenance. Well, a student can leave high school, have earned up to 44 hours of college credit at no cost to them, and they can walk out of this building with a verifiable, certifiable, federally recognized certificate. On a daily basis, these kids succeed. Hyatt Middle School and the surrounding community celebrated the completion of its auditorium renovations with a project on Coral Tailgate and ribbon cutting event sponsored by the Greater Des Moines Leadership Institute, class of 2011. Hyatt Middle School began Project Encore as an initiative to raise funds and involve community members to upgrade the auditorium that was built in 1926. The school has been working with the Greater Des Moines Leadership Institute, which adopted Project Encore as one of its community projects. It's, it's been a pretty incredible thing to see the students' reaction from, oh my gosh, there's carpet in here, wow, to look at the walls, the curtains look amazing, to the seats. I mean, so many of the seats were broken. 
The institute raised more than $150,000 for the auditorium's renovation, which included the refurbishing or replacement of 600 chairs. Callahan Middle School was selected by Adopt a Classroom and Office Max to receive a surprise visit on behalf of nationwide event called A Day Made Better. Representatives from Office Max visited Callahan to present a surprise package of more than $1,000 worth of classroom supplies to one lucky teacher. Sixth grade science teacher David Gustafson and the entire school filed into the auditorium for what they thought was an ordinary assembly. But David was surprised to find out that he was nominated to receive the award of excellence in the classroom supplies. Well, this is, uh, this is so exciting. I mean, it was just totally unexpected. Um, matter of fact, we had no clue what the assembly was really about and, and uh, coming down here and, and uh, seeing the uh, large Office Max box, I think all the teachers were probably a little hopeful that, uh, that they would get some of the contents in the box. Well, this is pretty cool. This is a great honor for me. I'm really very happy. In other news, a group of future teachers rolled up their sleeves early on a Saturday morning to help with a beautification and repair project at Studebaker Elementary School. The effort was a part of a program called Outreach to Teach, which takes place during the annual Iowa State Education Association's Student Conference. The Outreach to Teach event began in 1996 by the National Education Association as a way for education students to spend time improving a local school while attending the conference. Um, so we're here today, we have about 50 students from all across the state of Iowa, from the Missouri River to the Mississippi River, um, everywhere in between. And um, they're here today doing just so many things to beautify the school, cleaning up the uh, outside, making sure the, um, they clean up the lockers in the inside. Um, a lot of work's being done on the uh, bulletin boards and inside the classrooms. For the ISCA members, it's a chance for them to um, really get to see um, what goes in like really making the school work. Um, you know, there's so many little things that we don't think of, especially as pre-service teachers, that it really takes to make a good learning environment for students. And I think seeing the side of it, you know, spending a day um, doing this community service, reaching out to the community, I think is an invaluable service that um, we as the Iowa State Education Association student, pro student program can offer to the Des Moines Public School System and um, other school systems throughout the state. What a wonderful thing to be able to, uh, you know, contribute to our, our community like that. And, you know, I'm just, I'm grateful for them and thankful that they were able to come out and that they chose Studebaker out of all the schools in Des Moines and the surrounding areas. Read for the Record is a national campaign that works to set the world record for the greatest number of people reading the same book on the same day. This year's book of choice was Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney. Approximately 4,500 preschool students in the district participated in the world record attempt this year with the help of Mayor Frank County who read the book to two classes. I think it's wonderful. It's in fun. The kids seem to all like the book. It's short enough that, you know, especially preschoolers can keep, you know, their attention span. You can kind of talk to them and get a reaction out of them. And, uh, but everybody was terrific. I mean, all the kids, uh, this is mo one of the most attentive groups that I've spoken to, so, or read to. That concludes this edition of DMPS TV News. If you'd like to learn more on these stories, please visit dmschools.org. Thanks for watching.